lab publishing through spaces. Open a command line and go to the directory that contains the product and API YAMLs that you got with the tutorial. Type API C edit to launch the API designer. Click sign in with Bluemix. Then enter your username and password and click log in. The designer should automatically read the YAML files in the local directory. When it opens, it opens to the APIs. Click Products. On the Products page, click Publish and then click Add and Manage Targets. Click Add IBM Bluemix Target. This user only has one space available for publishing. Click on that space and then click Save. Click Publish again and then click on the one target that is available. Check the Select Specific Products box. This causes a list of products to appear. Check the one product that is available, the testing product, and click Publish. You see a success banner confirming that the product was published. Now click the user icon and sign out of API Designer. Once again, click Sign in with Bluemix and sign in with the different username and password and click Log in. You see the APIs. Click Products. Click Publish. This displays a list of available targets. Click the one target that is available, which is a space for which this user does not have permission to publish. Check the box Select Specific Products. This causes a list of available products to appear. Check the one available product and click Publish. An error dialog box appears that confirms that this user does not have permission to publish into the given target space. Click OK. Click Publish again and then click Add Manage Targets. Click Add IBM Bluemix Target. This user only has one available space, first space. Click that space and then click Save. Click Publish again and this time select the new space you just added. Check the Select Specific Products box. Check the box for the one product that's available and click Publish. Because all spaces within a single catalog publish to the same portal, if a product has been published through another space, then the error that you see here will appear. Now, log out of the API Designer.